hello guys today we are going to show you a very very interesting example of how to put more than one uh, selected uh, measure into the visuals so we put all the measures into a slicer and uh, when we click uh, one of them it works perfectly fine so we have each measure selected here and then we have this measure by months and by location so it's all good but what if we want to compare these two measures at once so we want to compare the actual value of a measure and the target value of that uh, measure not by not by switching them like this either one of them but to have two of them placed at once in the chart this was very very challenging for me and i was able to solve this but first let's see let's see how this how this solution works you can find many many articles and tutorials in youtube how to create this so you you have all the measures here all the different measures and uh, in my case mo uh, most of all of them are very very similar so we have a, a calculate function with two f two filters so this one and then it searches it searches whether whether the uh, whether the value is for actual or for the target so like this actual target actual target and then how is created the solution we we create a, we create a table by either entering data here with the names of all measures like this in my case this 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 was very very time consuming but what i did is that i created a, i created a, a table in excel where i put the names of all the measures and i loaded and i loaded this table into power bi by using uh, excel excel connector and then we have the we have the uh, the table here then what it is needed for this to work we create another uh, another measure which gives the selected value from the slicer here and this measure in our case is very 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 long but is similar but is easy to understand so it uh, brings it brings the measure depending of what uh, item in the slicer we select so like this if we select this value in the slicer then then the uh, value will be this measure here okay and this works uh, as we see very very good but what if we want to compare two actual versus targets for any of these measures i i i did the i i created the solution here like this so now we only click this one for example or inventory turns here or this one here and everything everything shows for two measures not uh, not only one and it doesn't uh, it doesn't break like in the first case so what we need to do in for this to 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 function i created the uh, I created instead of having only one measure table with all the measure names in it I created two measure tables one with targets and one with actuals we can see it here so we have one t one table with uh, the measure name and then whether that measure is actual measure or target or target measure in the second table so we have one table here for uh, actuals and we have one table here for for uh, targets and I loaded these two tables which are these two 
here and then in order to filter both of tables by clicking only one item in slicer I had to create another another uh, another table which is the 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 same same column which is uh, the same for two tables so I believe it's here yes is this one okay so this is the main uh, the uh, the main measure table which will serve in our model as the intermediary table to create the relationship so we can see it here maybe it's easier to understand so we have the actuals table containing measures for actual values we have the target table containing measures for target values and then we have this intermediate table here which will be used as a filter to filter both of these tables we can see it from here if we click one of the items here then we will get two measures one for actual and the same measure for target and this goes for all all uh, measures here then then now in the slicer instead of putting uh, targets targets actuals targets actuals so two for each of the measures we only put we only put the the main the main measure name here so now if we click customer rppm then we will have customer rppm actuals and targets if we click if we click uh, net sales we will have net sales actuals and targets what uh, what uh, what we had to do to do here so it's the same it's the same uh, it's the same principle so we create measure table we create measure table for actuals and then this intermediary table here filter which enable which enables us to filter both uh, both tables so this brings us the selected measure for actuals and this also brings us the selected measure for targets okay so now as you see everything works uh, perfectly fine and the users can really really quickly see any any of these measures by month by month of the year and by the location I didn't uh, I wasn't able to find this uh, solution in the internet so I was really really happy when I was uh, when I created this so I hope you like this and if you do so then please uh, make sure to leave a comment or subscribe to our channel and if you have a question or any difficulty of how to implement this then please leave a comment and i will do my best to help you realize this uh, functionality thank you very much and see you soon bye bye